What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, three-division world champion, former undisputed junior welterweight world champion, currently the WBO welterweight world champion, who is widely considered the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world, Terrence Bud Crawford, states that uh, former two-division world champion, former junior welterweight unified world champion, former welterweight WBC world champion, superstar boxer Danny Swift Garcia, uh, and former two-time welterweight world champion, superstar boxer Showtime Sean Porter, along with undefeated unified WBC IBF welterweight world champion, superstar boxer Earl of True Spence Jr. Accomplishments aren't big accomplishments if you're going to discredit his resume and his wins on his uh, uh, side of the street. Uh, Terrence Crawford stated that uh, essentially Danny Swift Garcia, Showtime Sean Porter are overrated. And he stated that uh, Errol Spence hasn't accomplished much in his career. He only beat one person in his career. That coming at the hands of Showtime Sean Porter. So Terrence Crawford is stating that these guys are all great fighters. They're all, you know, the best of the best, he states. But if you are going to look at them uh, in a high standard and hold them in high standard and high regards, uh, but you're going to discredit me and my career and my resume, uh, then you have to dig deep into their resume and their careers and you have to discredit them. So he states when it comes to Danny Swift Garcia, he says Danny Garcia hasn't beaten any big name at welterweight. Uh, so why does he get so much credit? All his accomplishments came at uh, one junior welterweight. He's only beaten Robert Guerrero and Paulie Malignaggi at the welterweight division. He beat Robert Guerrero for the WBC title. Uh, he says Sean Porter has lost all his big fights outside of beating Danny Garcia, but Danny Garcia hadn't accomplished anything at welterweight. So that essentially uh, uh, discredits De uh, Sean Porter's win over Danny Garcia because Danny Garcia hadn't accomplished much at welterweight. Uh, and then he says that Errol Spence only beat one guy in his career, that being Sean Porter. Uh, he says then the fight with Danny Garcia essentially has to be uh, discredited because Danny Garcia, again, hasn't accomplished much in his career. Uh, so then how are you going to give uh, Errol Spence much uh, credit for beating these guys? Well, here's where the problem comes in. I understand where um, Terrence Crawford is coming from. Uh, if you're going to, you, everybody could go through everybody's uh, resume with a fine tooth comb and, uh, you know, um, discredit certain guys. Uh, he says, how can people discredit uh, Victor Postal and discredit Yuriokis Gamboa? Uh, he says when, you know, um, these guys... Were, were world champions and they were considered the best at one point in time in, in and around their division. Uh, he goes on to state that, you know, um, uh, Errol Spence beat Kell Brook in the UK back in 2017, but Kell Brook was coming off an injury. This is what Errol Terrence Crawford had to say. He says, when he fought me, he was well healed. Uh, he says he fought me uh, in right now in November 14th of 2020 and he's healed. Well, Here's the thing when he says that. He didn't fight Errol Spence until nine months after he fought uh, Gennady Triple G Golovkin, and essentially he was healed. So he went into the fight with Errol Spence healed. He didn't go into the fight with Errol Spence injured, and therefore Errol Spence didn't injure the same eye. The same eye wasn't injured in the fight against Errol Spence. So you see, when he says he went in the fight with Errol Spence injured, well, Errol Spence broke the other eye socket the other orbital bone. He didn't break the same one. He didn't re-injure the same eye. It was the other one. So when he says that, you know, he went in a fight with me and he was already injured, well, you have to beg to differ because, you see, he went in a fight with Errol Spence nine months after suffering the injury originally to uh, Gennady Triple G Golovkin when he dared to be great and go up from 147 to 160. But I believe it was his right eye that he broke the orbital bone that was injured in the fight with uh, um, Gennady Golovkin. When he lost to Errol Spence, it was the left eye. So it wasn't the same eye that was injured. So it wasn't like Errol Spence, uh, you know, had Kell Brook re-injured the same eye because that's not the case. That's not what took place. Uh, as far as Danny Garcia, he didn't win his big fights against Sean Paul and Keith Thurman at 147, but he was in the big fights at 147. And essentially, you can look over... Um, Danny Garcia's resume in its totality and it's better than Terrence Crawford's resume from top to bottom. With that said, 
You look at Sean Porter. He probably has the best resume in all of boxing, not named Manny Pacquiao. Sean Porter didn't win his fight against Keith Thurman. He didn't win his fight against um, Kel Brook, and he didn't win his fight against Errol Spence. The point is, he was in the ring not to win those fights, right? Errol Spence has won his fights against Sean Porter, and he's also beaten four-division world champion Mexican superstar Barca Mikey Garcia. He's also beaten Lamont Peterson, who's a former world champion. He's also beaten Chris Algieri, who was a former world champion. Uh, and he's going into the fight with Danny Garcia. You have to be in it to win it. That's where Terrence Crawford is mistaken. That's where Terrence Crawford is being questioned. Because you have to be in these big fights to win them. So now, he didn't win the big fights, but he was in the big fights. Okay? So, Danny Garcia essentially didn't win the big fights, but he was in the big fights. Sean Porter didn't win all the big fights, but he was in the big fights. Uh, you know, Keith Thurman, he, he make mention of Keith Thurman also. Keith Thurman only lost to Manny Pacquiao. So he stated that Keith Thurman is only looking to fight me uh, because Keith Thurman already took a loss on his resume. And so Keith Thurman now has nothing to lose. So essentially, Keith Thurman wants to fight me. Uh, well, Keith Thurman was looking for a fight with Manny Pacquiao for quite some time before uh, Terrence Crawford, or around the same time Terrence Crawford was looking to land the fight with Manny Pacquiao. Keith Thurman was actually the mandatory challenger at one point in time for Floyd Mayweather. That's how far back Keith Thurman goes. Keith Thurman was considered the best welterweight in the world at one point in time. Uh, so uh, he's trying to, uh, um, you know, um, explain his stance and you know, in defense of his stance, he's trying to say you have to go through their rec resume with a fine tooth comb if you're going to do so. But he's incorrect by saying that because the point is you have to be in these big fights in order to win the big fights. And so that's what the fans want. Heavy is the head that bears the crown. Terrence Crawford is considered the number one pound for pound fighter widely considered in the sport of boxing. And so you want to see Terrence Crawford not in fights with Igus Kavaluskas, not in fights with Jeff Horn, not in fights with Jose Benavidez, not in fights with, you know, uh, Amir Khan, who was far past it. That's not the fights that the the, the creme de la creme, the, the, the top of the top, you know, uh, the king of all kings. You don't want to see him in those types of fights. You want to see him in with the best of the best. And so that's where Terrence Crawford is getting it misconstrued. Uh, fans are questioning his resume because they want to see him in there with the best. The guys that he's saying you have to question their resume, they have been in there with the best. Now, maybe they haven't won against the best, but they put themselves in position and they were actually in the fights. And actually, in all reality, all of their losses were very, very close fights and close losses. None of them got blown out. None of them got knocked out. Sean Porter didn't get knocked out or blown out by Kell Brook. Sean Porter didn't get knocked out or blown out by Keith Thurman. Sean Porter didn't get knocked out or blown out by Errol Spence Jr. Danny Garcia didn't get blown out and knocked out by Sean Porter. Danny Garcia didn't get blown out and knocked out by Keith Thurman, right? Those are the two losses on his resume. Keith Thurman didn't get blown out by Manny Pacquiao when he lost the fight. It was a very close fight. And Errol Spence won all the fights that he was in. So therefore, you cannot say, you know, uh, that their resume is, is, is equivalent to yours. When you don't have, and you admit it, when Terrence Crawford admitted on the relentless uh, special he did on ESPN with Andre S.O.G. Ward, and he stated that he has yet to secure the big legacy, massive payday showdown fight. They have, because they're mixing it up with one another. Thus, the reason why you get Sean Porter now, who is the WBO mandatory number one challenger for Terrence Crawford, as was Igas Kavalaskis, and he gave Igas Kavalaskis the opportunity. Igas Kavalaskis is nowhere near accomplice as Sean Porter. He's nowhere near seen in the same light as Sean Porter. So Igas Kavalaskis got the opportunity. Why wouldn't Sean Porter get the opportunity? See, the thing is, you want to see... Uh, Terrence Crawford in there with the best. And all of the guys he made mention of, everybody on his resume, they will all be favored to win outside of Kell Brook. Right? Sean Porter obviously lost to Kell Brook. Danny Garcia hasn't fought Kell Brook, but that would be a 50-50 fight. Uh, Keith Thurman would have been favored to beat Kell Brook. So when you make mention, Earl Spence beat Kell Brook. So 
Errol Spence outside of Kell Brook. You remove Kell Brook. Who on Terrence Crawford's resume will be favored to beat Sean Porter? Will be favored to beat Danny Garcia? Will be favored to beat Keith Thurman? Or will be favored to beat Errol Spence? The answer to that is none. Yuriokis Gamboa, Victor Postal, those are the two biggest names on his resume outside of Kell Brook. And none of those guys will be favored to beat either one of these guys. And the guy you got the, the he won the belt against, Jeff Horn, that beat Manny Pacquiao unofficially, because in my book, that was a win for Manny Pacquiao. Nonetheless, he got the victory. But if you put Jeff Horn in the ring with Sean Porter, he will be an underdog. If you put Jeff Horn in the ring with Danny Garcia, he will be an underdog. If you put Jeff Horn in the ring with Errol Spence, he will be the underdog. If you put Jeff Horn in the ring with Keith Thurman, he will be an underdog. Therefore, they are mixing it up with one another. The blemishes on their resumes come from one another. That's the difference. You are not in the mix. Terrence Crawford is not in the mix with these guys. That's the problem. So everybody wants to see the king of all kings in the ring with the other kings to prove that he is indeed the king of all kings. But uh, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.